Okay, so I am doing a new series, uh, four videos talking about basically different things uh, to do with the job that you hate. I'll start off by giving a brief intro to uh, what I did and how I treated my best job that I've ever had. Uh, I was a camera operator at a local TV network in Troy. Um, it was a really good job. I got paid really well. It was pretty close to where I lived. Got to work with awesome camera equipment, uh, worked on live studios, got to work with awesome software and computers and stuff. Got to meet some nice and powerful people in the area. It was a really good job and um, I could have gone up in that career field, but I was like 20 years old when I was working that job. Been there for three and a half years and I did not take it seriously. I, um, to be completely transparent, um, that was that was back when I was drinking and smoking. So from time to time, I showed up high at work. Um, I, at uh, one time, brought a little bottle of brandy to work uh, to drink with a coworker while we were filming a live show. I also wasn't showing up on time a lot. So there are all these different things that I was doing wrong because I, I didn't take that job seriously. I didn't fully appreciate how serious and how good of opportunity it was for somebody in college to have a job like that, that I could have moved up in. So I got fired and rightly so. I, I did not deserve that job. I was unappreciative. And I went back to working as a dishwasher, which was like basically taking two levels down and starting from the bottom. So I worked two dishwasher jobs. So the reason I'm doing these videos is I want to basically share with you the things that I've learned working these jobs that I really didn't like, but I had to deal with because it was making me money. So in this first video, I'm gonna talk about three ways to treat the job that you hate. Number one is be the best employee that you can be. And I'm talking not just doing enough to get by, but putting in 120% in everything that you do. When you, when you work with very little, uh, God can bless you with more later. So for example, if you have a crappy car uh, you, you, that you really don't like, you it, it's just a means of transportation, chances are you're not taking care of it well, you're not, you're not cleaning it, you're not washing it, you're not keeping it up to par. But when you have the opportunity to get a, a newer car, a much nicer car, don't think that because you have a newer car that you're gonna automatically start taking care of it better, that you're gonna start washing it, start cleaning it better because that's not really how it works. You have to have that principle, those those habits set in when you're working with very little because only then when you get a newer thing, when you get a better job, do you, can you take those principles that you've learned here and bring it to that next step? that next phase in your life. Number two is treat the job like your boss or your manager is Jesus. Sounds kind of weird, but consider when you are cleaning up, when you're closing for the day. Um, the manager is gonna check you out. They're only gonna notice what, what they can visually see. They may not have as high as standards, um, so everything is gonna seem fine for them. But consider if Jesus was your manager and he walks in knowing the effort you put into cleaning, knowing all the corners that you cut to make it appear like it's cleaner than it is, he's gonna hold you to a higher standard because he, he he's gonna know it, he's gonna know everything. Um, it, it, it's a really interesting concept because I use that to kind of drive my work ethic to work like Jesus is watching over me and he's critiquing the work that I'm doing. I, I put it 120% and everything that I did, I cleaned, did more than I was asked for because I treated it like I was working for, for God. Number three is work like you want to raise. So even though a raise is not guaranteed, um, it really helps to put in the extra effort to prove your worth as an employee. That's where being the best employee possible comes in because when you're putting in 120% when you're doing more than you asked for, you have this 
you have this uh, this thing to kind of bring to the managers. When you want that raise, you can knock on the door and say, hey, this is what I've done. You ask for these 10 tasks to be done. I've done 15. I've done it consistently. I would like an increase in my uh, income. But what's even better, and this is what happened in my situation as a dishwasher, the managers wanted to give me a raise. Now, I'm not boasting about that, but I'm realizing more so now than I did even at the moment. It was, it's, it's a much bigger deal when the manager comes to you noticing the work that you put in, wanting to actively give you a raise. Uh, one of the things that managers and bosses have to keep in uh, consideration uh, constantly is making sure they don't go over budget, keeping costs down. So for them to want to give you an increase in, in your, your income is a pretty big deal. But that came with me spending months when I first started the job, uh, doing more than what I was asked for. Every day I came into work, did what I needed to do, went to the managers to get more work done. And they noticed that over and over and over. And they thought that I deserved the raise because of the work I put in. Now, I didn't make an effort to tell them I wanted a raise. I didn't keep in their mind, hey, I'm, I'm wanting a raise, I'm doing this for a raise. Uh, but it's, it's, you're not necessarily working for the raise, you're working on that type of level because it'll help show the managers that you're not playing around with your job, that you're taking it seriously. Uh, all these things are meant to develop your character and uh, help you to kind of perceive your, your job as it is in, un, under a better light. Um, hope that you are able to realize how good of an employee that you can be, even in the, the worst types of jobs. Because those characteristics that you develop here are going to matter even more so in the next job, in the, in the next phase of your life. So uh, I mentioned before, I have, I'm gonna have four videos set up. Uh, so I'm gonna, for the next video, get dive more into aspect of why you shouldn't quit your job. So yeah, deuces.